Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to extract DNA using Kyogen DNA Easy Blood and Tissue Kits. So we have our tissues here, we're only going to need about 25 milligrams of tissue. We have sterile 1.5 milliliter tubes, 70% ethanol, microcleaning solution, and Kimtech wipes. And also we have PCR tubes filled with sterile water, we have tweezers and scissors in case we need them. So what you're going to do is start by dipping your tweezers into ethanol to sterilize them, then grab your tissues. The amount of tissue we're going to use is about the size of half of a grain of rice. Then dip it into sterile water for about 5 seconds. This will wash away ethanol, and then you can put them into the sterile tubes that is labeled already. So before moving to the next tissue, dip your tweezers into a micro solution, use a Kimtech, to clean any excess tissues that might be left from the previous tube and then dip it into ethanol to sterilize and repeat the process for the rest of your tissues until you're done with this. After that, add 180 microliters of ATL buffer, then 20 microliters of protein ACE-K. Now this is going to start the lysis pro process. Vortex your tubes, Then put your tissues into a hot plate at 56 Celsius degrees for about 2 to 12 hours. If you can, vortex the tubes once every hour if possible. Once that's done, add 200 microliters of buffer AL and 200 microliters of pure ethanol. If you don't have pure ethanol, you can use 95% as well. So in the end, you're going to have about 600 microliters of solution in your tubes. Then vortex it. And then after that, grab your spin column tubes, label them. And then transfer all that 600 microliters of solution that's in the 1.5 ml tubes into the spin column tubes that you just opened from the kit that you receive. There might be little chunks. Try to get them as well. Be careful not to touch the white part, otherwise this is going to damage the spin column. Centrifuge your spin column tubes at 8,000 RPM for about a minute. And make sure there's no liquid up above the spin column. If so, just repeat the process. Grab new 2 ml tubes. Remove the spin column. Discard the flow through. Place them into new 2 ml tubes. And add 500 microliters of buffer AW1. Centrifuge at 8,000 RPM for about a minute. Once that's done, discard the flow through. Place the spin column into a new 2ml tube. And repeat the pretty much same process with buffer AW2. Again, 500 microliters. But this time you're going to do 14,000 RPM for 3 minutes. My centrifuge's maximum setting is 13,200. So instead of doing three minutes, I did four minutes. Now discard the flow through. That solution should have AW2 in it. And then transfer the spin column into 1.5 ml tubes, not 2 ml this time. You're going to add 200 microliters of buffer AE. Centrifuge at 8,000 RPM for one minute. Add another 200 microliters of AE buffer again. This is going to increase the yield. Centrifuge at 8,000 RPM for one more minute. Now, some caps can be broken at this stage. Just replace them with the new tubes. And then once you're done, transfer all of your solutions into new tubes that are labeled. And store your DNA extracts in minus 20 Celsius degrees.